Hi everybody, we're going to do a little bit of English now and we are going to be looking at commands, exclamations and questions. And there are lots of uh, different forms of sentences. And in particular today, we're going to be looking at exclamations. And you may notice that sometimes you, might, you, you may have heard of an exclamation mark, but we can have exclamation sentences. And there are a few rules involved. So we're going to be writing exclamation sentences about a character called Rosie Revere. And the story of Rosie Revere is a story about a little girl who wanted to bust and break the norm and become an engineer. And this is going to uh, tie in with our ongoing topic of For the Greater Good. So I have a link here for the video. I will give that to you. But it's really important that you pause the video now. Watch the story. That's going to be somebody that's reading the story. So you get a general gist of what is happening. So hopefully you've read or you've listened to the video. If you haven't, please go back and listen to it. I will post the link to the comment section of the post. But watch it. So our sentences today must start with the word what or how. And they must contain a verb. Like every sentence must contain a verb. But our exclamation sentences mm -hmm. have to have what or how. The real trick is going to be that they cannot become questions. They cannot become questions. So an exclamation sentence starts with what or how. Uh, the most common example that I can think of is in Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Yeah. It might sound confusing, but it's not. It's not as confusing as it sounds. Follow this link. Have a playthrough. Here, and then once you're ready, come back and we will go through some of this. So the first thing we're going to do is get some verbs. Some verbs that we're going to be using in our sentences. Now you may come up with some of your own as well, but here are some good uh, descriptive verbs. Flung, flop, stumble, stroll, wither, scream, scribe, uh, Leap, plead, some really good verbs here and it's going to uh, make our sentences or our writing uh, sound a lot more interesting because not only can we have descriptive words like adjectives and adverbs but we can also make our verbs quite descriptive. Uh, so now that we've got some verbs, so you may want to uh, note some of them down. And we're going to put them into some exclamation sentences, which is the focus of our lesson. And we're going to use that what or how. Let's have a look at some of these to get some ideas. So, what an amazing machine you've created. It starts with what. It's not a question. We've got a verb, created. We've got an exclamation mark. But most importantly, it started with what. How spectacular your imagination is. Exclamation mark. Verb. It's a sentence. And we've got our how open. How could you how could you throw away any of your inventions? They are amazing. Another one here. So what I want you to do is to take these verbs. And I want you to place them into uh, the gaps. Where do they fit? So pause the video, write them out. Don't just give me the, the order of the words. Write the sentences out. It's good practice. If you find that simple, here's the challenge. What's wrong with the exclamation sentence? How clever are you? What is wrong with this? So let's have a look. So, what a discovery you have made, how clever you are, what an absolute flop that was, what a creation that beats anyone's invention, how wonderful this all is. So, well done if you got those. How clever are you? 
that can have an answer. And if something can have an answer, it is a question, and it shouldn't have had an exclamation mark. So that was a question, not an exclamation. So well done if you spotted that. Could we change that into an exclamation? How clever you are. How clever you are. Clever you are. How clever you are. Be careful that they are not uh, questions. That's going to be the biggest uh issue i feel so what we're going to do is we're going to write some verbs to do with rosie here's a guide sheet with some uh answers on the next couple of slides but for each of these pictures can you write, pause the video write down some verbs and some good level verbs so here's some examples so we've got flop broke messed up determined success successful Floating, gliding, movement, although movement is a noun. Creation, discovery, discover, emerge. Experimented, decide, determine, link, triumph. Happy, ecstatic, dancing, twirling, think, woot, delighted, leap. And here is your task. So it's time to write some exclamation sentences about Rosie. Uh, over to you. So in our one chili, we've got a writing frame as normal. So what I want you to do is choose the most appropriate verb for the given sentences uh, using the next slide. Remember, here's how we write our exclamation sentence. We have our what or our how. We have our noun phrase, pronoun, and then a verb. But it's just one way we can do it. How funny you are, what large eyes she has. Oh, the bit, let's remember the uh, classic uh, Red Riding Hood. Number two, use the list of verbs that we've made together on the previous uh, slide and write your own exclamation sentences. And number three, write your own exclamation sentences about Rosie Revere. Watch out that the how sentences don't become. Uh, questions that's the big thing we need to have how or what we need to have an exclamation point uh, we need to have a verb because all sentences need a verb but we have in no questions here's the sheet here we got our verbs so verb some of them uh, are nouns and adjectives. There's the answers and